Hey everyone, it's Erica. I have a mini album to share with you and I'm going to start out by showing you just the start of how I put this together with this uh, doodle bug cards and envelopes Halloween assortment pack. This is how I created the base pages for my album and then I will show you just a little bit of the um, beginning process of like decorating the pages and then I'll do a walkthrough um, of all of the pages at the end of the video. So I have all of the cards and envelopes here and they match perfectly with the Monster Madness collection. So I'm just going through and um, I believe I use all of these pieces in my album, maybe except for one of the cards. So I'm just taking the envelopes and the cards, I'm gonna use them for my base pages. Some of them I'm going to trim up um, just so that they'll fit better in the book. So I'm going to take this pink card here and trim off just a little um, piece of that edge. And then I will end up using the piece that I cut off in the mini album as well. So just going to trim this up using my paper trimmer. And then that will be two of the pages in the album from this one card. So here is an envelope. I'll use this as one of my base pages as well. And then I have a card here that I will use as a page and then this black envelope. I'm going to end up trimming off the end of the envelope where it's sealed and I'm adding adhesive to that and resealing it. I just wanted to make it smaller uh, just so it would fit better in the album. So I'll add adhesive to the bottom of this card here and then the side. And then I do think I end up trimming off some of the end of this and then resealing it again because it was still too long in the album. So um, you won't see that here in the video, but um, you'll notice in the album that it's not as long as this. So I go back in, trim off um, some of the edge and then reseal it to create that page pocket or that pocket page So there it's open at the top So now I'm going to take my uh, Cinch machine that I have here and punch holes um, on all of the cards and envelopes that way I can bind this together using one of the coils from we are memory keepers I love my cinch machine. I use it often to create mini albums. It's really fun. I just think it's something, I just love mine. I have a few of them and I've done a few classes um, with my cinch machine creating different mini albums. So I think it's a great tool if you can find one. I actually found this one on clearance at Joanne a couple years ago. I think it was like $29. So they had a few of them and I ended up picking up two of them at that price. So just going through and punching in the holes on all of these pages and they're going to make really really fun pages base pages for the mini album because these cards um, have these flaps it's going to make it and the envelopes have the flaps as well it's going to be really fun and easy to create um, flip flat pages and fold outs and um, have lots of pockets for photos and journaling. It's just gonna be a lot of fun and interactive album. These base pages are perfect to go along with this Monster Madness collection. So it's gonna be nice, fun, bright, and chunky mini album. So just trying to decide what I wanna do with this page here and I'm gonna end up trimming it up a little bit because I knew that it was going to be too long in the album. So I'm just trimming it up a little bit and then we'll get the holes punched in the side. You will no notice in this first half of the video, there are some little hands moving around my desk and things moving around. So I have Liam in here with me while I'm creating and he was just going through some of the pages and then um, playing around with some of the die cuts that I had out on my desk. So I'm just getting this trimmed up. And then that large orange page, I end up pulling that out of my album um, and not using that page after all. So here is another envelope. Once I have all of the pages 
punched. I'm going to put them in the order that I want them to go and then I will end up using a black binder uh, wire coil from We Are Memory Keepers to bind them all together. I could have went with a larger one, I think, um, but I only had the larger one in gold and I really wanted to use the black, so I stuck with the black coil. So I'm gonna, I ended up trimming that up just a little bit more, or yeah, getting the adhesive in and getting those holes punched in. So I'm going to put these in the order that I want, trimming that up some more. So I just go back and forth, back and forth, just to get them how I want them to go in the album, make sure the sizes are all good and it doesn't look too silly. So I love using pages that are all different sizes, um, things that are, have flaps, fold outs, pockets, and things like that. So just getting them all in the order that I want and what looks good to me. Kind of going from big, like longer pages, thinner pages, different colors, um, envelopes, cards, just trying to mix it up and just so I don't have two of the same next to each other just to have some variety in the pages so I use all of cards and envelopes for my bases except for the very first page which is going to be a tag that I end up creating myself just punching it out of some 12 by 12 pattern paper from the monster madness collection and you'll see that here in just a little bit I will um, use that for the first little page flap in my album. Now I'm just getting these pages added to the cinch wire, just putting them in the order that they go. And then I will put the very last page of the album um, on the front of the book. So that way, after I bind it, I will wrap that page all the way to the back and it'll kind of hide that, um, coil just a little bit where it connects so I'm just trying to figure out how I want this page to go and what I'm going to do with it I end up trimming off that decorative edge on that one and then adding it to the album back and forth on what I want to do trimming off that flap for that envelope so not all of the envelopes have the flaps on them some of them do But I believe all of the envelopes that I do use do end up do end up having their pocket open so that I can use them for photos and uh, photo mats and journaling and things like that. So this will be the very last page of the album and it'll be a pocket. So I'm just getting adhesive on the bottom and then on the side that does not have the holes punched in it. And then I will end up using a circle punch to punch like a little notch out of the top. That way you know that it's a pocket. And then I will end up putting pattern paper on the inside as well, just to add a little bit more detail to that page. So now I will trim up the wire just using my wire cutters. And then I will uh, get the album cinched together and then I will start to decorate it using the Monster Madness collection from Doodlebug Design. If I can find um, some cinch machines I will leave them listed down below. Not sure if they still sell this Heidi Swap one anymore but like I said I did find it at Joann's or not Joann's I'm sorry Hobby Lobby. <laughs> So here is that tag die. I use these dies all the time. They're from LA Studio and it does have like a little tag topper die as well. So I will um, punch out some pattern paper from the six by six paper pad 
to add a tag topper to the top of the dies or the tags and I cut it out twice that way I can have a front and a back both out of that stripe pattern paper which my which is my absolute favorite and I use it a lot in this mini album <laughs> once I have all of the little pieces punched out using my die cutting machine I will adhere them together so then I have a nice striped tag on the front and the back and then I will add that blue tag topper here at the top just to add some little detail to that tag and then I do add some lace and trim to the top of the tag I'm gonna run this through at this inch punch some holes and because my album is already bound what I'm gonna do is just make little slits in these holes and it'll pop right into the album just by kind of pushing down on the holes it's kind of kind of like a uh, what are they called like the happy planners how the pages can go in and out of those rings um, you can do the same thing with the cinch so now I'm going to start to decorate the pages and I'm just going to do a few of them on camera and then um, I will do a walkthrough of the album and show you all of the details of the pages. The pages are going to look totally different once I show you the walkthrough and all the flips and flaps and things because all of these papers will be covered up with pattern paper so it'll be lots of fun to see how it all turns out. Adding a tab there. Adding a tab up here at the top. Getting those stuck down with my adhesive. And then going through and just adding some pattern papers to all of the pages. I'm gonna add a little circle die cut to this flap here. I'm gonna do a circle on each side just so there is some decoration on both sides. And just using some adhesive to get that stuck down. I will leave links to the collection down below so you guys can check it out. It's super cute and super colorful. And then creating a little mat for the pockets as well, the envelope pockets. And I will add um, tabs to that and then on some of them I will do uh, pattern paper and then also black mats. I love the tabs. I've used, I think I used all the tabs in um, the die cut pack on this mini album so I'm gonna have to get more because I absolutely love the tabs so much. So I'm just going to do pattern paper I believe just on one and then we will go through and do the walkthrough. Okay, so I will just show you quickly how I cover up the envelopes using pattern paper. And I will do this with all the envelopes and all the cards and do it to the flaps as well. So it'll cover it up and you won't even know that it is an envelope. And I will add adhesive all around the envelope, leaving that right side open so that I can pull out that card. And I will do that with all of the envelopes. So you won't even be able to tell that this page is actually an envelope oh there's Liam so once I get that done we will go through um, the album and I will show you all of the pages decorated and ready to go hello everyone I have my mini album complete there are no pages or, or there are no photos inside of it it's just the base pages and all of the embellishments and everything so it's ready for photos journaling and all of the good stuff I'm going to go ahead and go through it and show you um, the completed pages with all of the pretty pattern papers for Monster Madness and the cute embellishments. And then I added this super cute little mummy um, from a shop called Shining Star Boutique. I'll leave it uh, linked below. She does really, really cute clips and hair clips and things like that. So um, I added that mummy there. I bound everything with my We Are Memory Keeper cinch that I absolutely love. Um, created this tag using a die and I'll leave the die listed down below um, and it had the little tag topper so I did the little blue tag topper there put some lace and some trim there then this adorable shaker with the glitter inside 
there and then one of the tags here with some stars and then all of the pages except for this I think this tag is the only one that I made um, myself with just pattern paper um, but everything else like the base pages are from the cards and envelopes Halloween assortment pack so this page I just had this little cute clip here um, this is one of the envelopes and had that cute decorative little edge there okay so this is an envelope so there is a pocket here oh just a little pocket so you can put stuff in here and then the little flap on this page this is just the back of the envelope um and i just made this little flap here on a pattern paper it says best night ever a little epoxy and then the little photo mat and then this will flap up you can put photo or journaling here and then another photo down here and then just this little epoxy down there Okay, so here is another page here. Um, this already had that really fun decorative edge. Added the embellishments here. And then the cute little mummy. He's so cute. And then you flip it open. And then there is this circle here. So I just put two circles there. And then this nice mat for um, photos. And then you can also put photos in here or journaling. And then I put a little tab at the top added this little pom-pom trim to the side and then that border sticker and then for this page <clears throat> it's just the back I added the pattern paper there on the back let me zoom it in a little bit there you go so the pattern paper on the back and then I did two strips of pattern paper with adhesive on the sides and the bottom to create like little pockets and then some little banners. And then these are just little photo mats with the little tabs at the top. You can do photos on the front and then the back. And then this one pulls out as well. And I need to add a mat to that as well. And then here is another page. This is an envelope. This green page is an envelope so I made some pullouts here that you can add um, photos to there's a little tab there at the top so that you know that that pulls out and I did a little die cut here and then I have these two um, photo mats here so it's like a little pocket and then you can do photos on the front and on the back and then they just pop right back in there And then on the back side is a pocket with pattern paper here. So this will pull out. Um, so there's room for photos or journaling or whatever you want to put in there. Some twine at the top. And then this sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And there's two tags in here. So this is just popped up on foam adhesive. I removed the sticky from the back of the sticker and then foam adhesive around the sides and the bottom just to create that pocket. So those will go in and out nicely. Here is another page that opens like this. Um, this is a pocket down here, so you can tuck these in. And then I have this little tag here, so you can add photos here. And I just had it closed up with this little star pin or paper clip. And then the side here just says candy there's a tab and then some little um, embellishments there on the side and then on this side it's just some eyeball paper really really cute and then this pocket here with tags and then some embellishments down here here's another page with the flap really cute monsters and then some circle mats here that I will put circle photos in and then this is just one of the chit chat pieces and then some epoxy stars and then I put two little um, epoxy eyeballs inside the O so I thought that was cute and then this is actually an envelope and then I just put these tags, I kept them together as one piece. So 
We have these little fun pieces here, and then I could add some trims to the side if I want. I can put one large photo, or I could do three photos and then journaling at the bottom, something like that, but that goes inside that pocket here. So this was an envelope, and then this is the closure to the envelope. So now it's just a flap. It's covered with pattern paper, and it works nice as a little foot flap. So then on this side, I just put some plaid pattern paper and then two photo mats. And again, these tags are here. And then on this side is another envelope. So I just covered it with the pink pattern paper, some little monsters, a border strip. And then this envelope opens up and there's just a little paper in there, pattern paper to add photos or journaling. And then here is the flap. So I just added some pumpkins and a little banner there, some photo mats and a little spooky fun there. And then this thing here, it's like different um, pockets in here. This was an envelope, obviously. So then this flap was the flap to the envelope. So I just put the pattern paper on top of the flap. That's how I did that. Um, and then this has all of these pockets. So every little section is a pocket that you can tuck in um, some different things. Can't remember where I had all the little monsters. really really fun page with all of the pockets here is another page um, this is a pocket this is one of the cards so that opens up at the top just added the banner the border and then this fun sticker on the side the back side has a large photo mat and then these really fun um, treats at the bottom and I just have it popped up on foam adhesive at the bottom so then I can just slip my photo behind there easily. Here is another, I believe this is an envelope. Yes, this is one of the envelope pages and I just made a pocket here with some pattern paper, just adhesive along the sides and then some cards so you can do some journaling and then do photos on the back and then those will just tuck in there nicely. And then this right here is the envelope. So this was the flap part to the envelope. So I just put some ribbon here and then it holds these two mini envelopes. And it'll hold it a lot better once there's something inside the mini albums or the mini envelopes, but it's kind of loose right now. Um, so these are just mini envelopes that I made so that we can tuck photos in there and they'll just go in here. Once there are um, photos in here, then they'll stay a lot better. Or I can also tighten this ribbon up. So those just kind of sit in there like that. Photo mats, I added some candies here. And then this is a little photo mat that goes inside that envelope pocket. And I just put that little candy there to help grab that pocket out. So then on this side, this little tag here. You can open this up for some photo mats and I put a tab at the top. And then photo mats and our little monsters. And then it's not adhered all the way down so I can add my photos to those mats easily. Here's just a page with pattern paper and I did make this a pocket so that I can add more photos or ephemera in there or whatever I want. And then this is an envelope, so there is another pocket here with another card inside for even more photos. Just like that. Or if you wanted to create like a flap like this, you can by just adhering your 
pattern paper to this flap here. But I just left it as the envelope, added the little embellishments at the top. This was a piece that I think I just trimmed off one of the envelopes. I think the decorative pink one. And I added it in here anyway. And just added the spooky word to there. And then on the side, just added some fun monster stickers and enamel dots, some eyeballs, and some stars. And then the last page is just a photo mat with some embellishments down here. And then I have this pocket here so that I can add more tags or photos. So that is it. Super easy and fun. And I just love how it turned out. Lots of pockets and just fun little pages. I love this one. Pocket here, pocket here, a flap, pocket here, and a flap, pockets. These tags open up, pockets and pockets, and a pocket. More pockets, more pockets and photo mats. So really, really fun, colorful, and super cute mini album. You can head on over to the Doodlebug blog and see the blog post and all the photos um, of the book. It's nice and chunky, and I just love the way that it came out. All of the different size pages and textures and pockets, and just so much fun. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through and I will see you guys in my next video.